Hey, this is Nultzer, and this is the Tier 10 American Destroyer, Gearing. She has 23,400 health, a top speed of 37.8 knots, 6 127mm guns, 10 torpedoes, a surface detect of 5.9 kilometers, and 43 AA defense rating. For my modules, reduced crit chance on main armament, improved aiming accuracy, improved torpedo rearm, reduced the chance of flood and fire, Improved Acceleration, Concealment. For my Commander, Basic Firing Training, Basic Survivability, Improved Torpedo Rearm again, Last Stand, Superintendent, Survivability Expert, and Concealment again. We are on the map Okinawa, and I was trying to play a Destroyer to really feel better about myself at the end of a stream. This was uh, one of the games, and I believe it stands out as being a fantastic destroyer game. That's why I want to share it. So, I'm over by Sea Point. We see an enemy Fubuki, and I'm going, oh, okay, enemy Fubuki. We'll fire at his ship. No big deal. Oh, it's a huge deal. We have three enemy destroyers on the flank, and that's a little bit too many enemies. I decided to pop my smoke and hide, and uh, yeah. You don't engage a target going, oh, yeah, three of the four enemy destroyers are going to be on this flank in the capture radius while I'm trying to take out a target? That just doesn't cross your mind. So, we safely get out. We're undetected. Detection has dropped back to its regular form. I'm going to send my torpedoes in a narrow spread in an area where I last saw the enemy ships. Now, this is not at the enemy Fubuki. Obviously, the enemy Fubuki is where that smoke is. But you can see on the minimap, there is at least one, maybe even all three, still in the capture area of Seapoint. Do they expect me to torpedo them? Are they thinking that far ahead? I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh! I think we got one. We definitely got one. And yep, you can see where the, the water splashed from making contact with the torpedo. We did somewhere in the realm of 14,000, 16,000. Definitely not that guy. He's not the one who took the torpedo. But I won't pass up a chance to engage him. I have used my smoke. This is dangerous, but oh, if I could kill him. If I could only kill this guy. Oh, we got another torpedo on enemy Yamato. That's pretty awesome. And are we going to kill the enemy Fubuki? He does not have his smoke, remember. Oh, we got another torpedo on the Montana. Okay, how often does that happen? We hit four torpedoes with our single torpedo set that we sent. So out of ten torpedoes, four of them made contact with the enemy. That's pretty good. And we take out the enemy Fubuki. I still don't have my smoke, but every single enemy that could detect me is either outside of my range or inside smoke. I am completely safe here. My torpedoes are rearmed, and we can do this all over again. So I'm going to send my torpedoes against the enemy destroyer that could potentially be in at B point inside the smoke that you just saw. Now, I, I don't want to die to the torpedo, so I, I stop. I, I suspect that maybe he wasn't expecting me to go back that way towards C point so quickly. So I'm just trying to fit myself in a nice, safe area. Let the torpedoes do their work. Ooh. And again, I just seem to be some sort of Jedi with the torpedoes this game. It's very rare that you hit one torpedo blind in smoke or the equivalent to hit what three four that's that's basically unheard of i was getting so lucky hitting these guys and the prediction was working out they sent against my team it appears that most of them are going to survive I, I, just ignore that guy the from the atago i i don't know what his plan was but uh i would say it's a bad plan <laughs> he's out in the open I just, I just don't get it. The enemy is able to avoid the torpedoes. The other thing that's weird about torpedoes, 
and I was considering firing on his ship. Instead, let's let's capture B and let's make sure we get a two base advantage. It's still really close. But the weird thing about the first set that I sent, it was detected over by C point, leaving the C point edge. And it was able to hit three torpedoes after being detected for 20, 30, 40 seconds. I don't know how long it took to leave the edge of Sea Point and get back to the battleships, but uh, that's not acceptable. If you're a battleship, you should not be in danger of a torpedo hit after it's been detected. The Shima is, of course, back. He's using his premium camouflage. He probably enjoys the Shimakaze. I enjoy my gearing. That's why I have my premium. And I enjoy using the gearing to devastate the enemy destroyers. Uh, just a slight turn. He's trying to save himself. I sort of fire just to confirm. Is it enough? No, it's not enough. Shimakaze is able to get out of the area. Enemy Yamato is within torpedo range and I need to send. Don't hold on to your torpedoes too long. There's always an enemy that has your torpedoes in mind. You just have to find them. And it's probably the Shimakaze sent torpedoes. It, it is a set of five. Gearing is a potential one too, but I think it's the Shimakaze that we were engaging. And it doesn't look like the enemy Yamato is going to hold true to the direction he was headed. So our torpedoes are probably not going to hit anyone. It was an extremely southern, southeast torpedo send. The only target in that area is the Yamato. Maybe, maybe we'll just get lucky against the enemy Shimakaze. And I could fire at that enemy battleship, the Iowa, but... If he's that low, there's just no reason to. You'll also notice that there is a enemy destroyer last known position in the southern area. So what I intended to do this game is to push forward, try and run into the enemy Shimakaze, and destroy it. That Shimakaze is very unhealthy, and we do run into him. He pops a smoke in an attempt to save his life. And instead of firing my gun, I allow the smoke to conceal my ship as well. I'm going to just aggressively push into sea. I am not going to be detected. Once I get into the smoke, I will kill the enemy. And I won't be detected to the enemy ships that are just to my northeastern side. It seemed like a good strategy. My torpedoes are already rearmed because we've invested so much in that. And I'm going to send again against the enemy Yamato with the expectation that he's turning back towards the north and he wants to meet up with his team. That's really the only solution that he could possibly be attempting and we're predicting that. So we can tell that the enemy was firing somewhere. Yeah, he's definitely firing in the smoke and oh, he hasn't moved at all. I don't even need to zoom in. Easy kill. Didn't even give him a chance to send torpedoes against us. He didn't have the angle. We were probably detected for five seconds, if that. And he sent torpedoes against my friends, but it looks like they're going to be able to survive. How are my torpedoes doing? Well, they're doing pretty good. Yeah, I think the prediction worked out just as I planned. And as we watch him go in, he types in chat, letting us know exactly his feelings on this moment. <laughs> and yes, I agree, Yamato. You were not getting out of that alive. And I don't really care about capturing C, honestly. I care about pushing into the Benson and taking him out. I would honestly like to stall out the game so we can get more kills. So I just leave C point to go after this guy. And the Benson's trying to escape. He hasn't really taken any damage. And sometimes in the stream they go, why? Why do you zoom in so much? I want to have as much information as possible. I can sort of see past the edge of the screen and perceive where the target is supposed to be. So it doesn't really impact me that much that I can only see the front half of his ship. And we've worked him down to under 4,000. We're just using the front guns. If you notice on my little, uh, what is it would be, a compass? 
Yeah, it's a compass. On the compass, you notice exactly how I'm trying to play that. Instead of showing my ship having all three gun turrets involved, I just care about the front two. It's 66% of my guns, and I was a little hesitant that possibly he could have sent torpedoes, so I wanted to get the turn quickly done in order to protect myself from a torpedo send. The destroyers can easily avoid this stuff. It's not a big deal. You just can't be exactly broadside when the torpedoes are spotted. That is the worst case scenario. And it looks like he didn't have a chance to send torpedoes. Potentially, he sent them just before I was seen by him. Either way, all the enemies are defeated. Our team has three bases to their nil. And we absolutely assisted in the domination of the enemy. We hit eight torpedoes, four kills, confederate. We helped capture bases. We helped defend bases. This is exactly what you want in a gearing game. This is why I love the gearing. I was never not in control. It all worked exactly as I, you know, obviously the blind torpedoes were lucky. We sent expecting the enemy to be there and they were there. They didn't do anything to counter the play even though they should have expected a possible torpedo attack. So we got Confederate, four kills, over 124,000 points of damage done, 2,896 base XP. The friendly Fletcher did a great job, and look at how many more points we scored than anyone else on our team, anyone else on the enemy team. Absolute domination by the two top destroyers. Montana did a good job. Obviously, everyone did a good job assisting in the destruction of the enemy, but the destroyer is such an impressive class at controlling the tempo of the game. If you knock out the enemy destroyers, they basically can't do anything. Most of my damage, it was in torpedoes, which is not surprising when the enemy just runs into them. I really, I felt so lucky with a lot of the hits. 33,000 in HE, and mostly that was dedicated towards the enemy destroyers. Just domination. Take out the enemy destroyers and take out the enemy battleships. I hope you enjoy this game as much as I did. The stream really loved it when I played it. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.